hiking today at back at Savage Gulf and another ruggedy rocky trail. It's like a like, you know, we're sure we're going the right way. Hiking with my sister Amy and my friend Tim. Poor little Toddles is on the road. Got Roscoe with us, blazing the trail. Got a lot of big rocks. Oh, wow. Oh, just get some Lucas Stop Leak. You'll be all right. Go <laughs> on, Roscoe. You trying to kill me? This is some rocky shit, man. So this trail, the rim trail, is kind of uneventful. Uh, it's not, there's a few overlooks and, um, it's a lot of really cool mushrooms. And that's about it. It's super, super quiet. Don't hear anything. And that's about it. Kind of unremarkable up here on the rim. Uh, we're not too far from the old stagecoach road. We'll start a, I think it's 1.6 mile descent to the connector trail, which is like 0.45. And then we'll start on the leg back. So we've decided that we're somewhere between 10 and 14 miles total trip. We're not sure to leave it back. Okay, we're taking a little short side trail out here to this gigantic rock and uh, have a sit down and some snacks. This big arse rock. What's that? Roscoe, come here, dude. Don't you fall over the edge. Is it a long way down? Oh, yeah. Clearly. Two people in this party are bolder than another person. You're climbing into this vast chasm in the rock. Somebody had to film it. What's in there, Tim? Sasquatch? <clears throat> so we're coming down the old stagecoach trail which was actually once upon a time a stagecoach trail clearly it's been a lot of years ago it's just rocky as hell and it's those little obviously you can see like baby head rocks everywhere roly-poly going slow down it uh, i think i read something about it being like um uh, actually a toll road back in the day which I think was probably the 1800s possibly turn of the century super rocky area anyway it's a 1.6 mile descent that I was telling you about earlier and that's it it just hit me on the back of the leg probably a rock thrown by a Sasquatch I'm pretty sure Another, another empty creek bed because the water channels down underground and leaves you thinking that you're going to have water and there's not any. Look at this. This is just a lot of area with no water. Tell me what to do with my dog. Man, can you imagine how much water has been this had to be like an amazing river. I don't know how it wound up going underground. Okay, you guys remember a little bit back I posted a video of a big empty creek bed. And I can hear water now. 
and I'm actually walking in the dry creek bed but I want you to see I see I want you to see where this water went that used to fill the massive creek bed now just over here a little bit you can see a little bit there but this is just below Horse Pound Falls. Don't ask me why they call it that. Horse Pound Falls, yes, I was saying. Whoa. I was saying and nearly tripping over all these freaking rocks. You're about to see where the river disappears into an underground cavern. goes down there. Yeah, you're fine. And there's a tavern there. That's where your river goes, little girl. Yep. You can see it flowing right under those rocks. See, there goes the water down into the cave. Disappearing. We are at mile 12.25, and this trail is not cutting us any slack. But I think we're only what, about a mile from the car, so we should be. Yeah, I think it probably is. Still a pretty rugged trail. So this seems totally safe. It's two pick boards, walk boards put together. Yikes. That's scary bridge. Dude. Hey Timmy. I was gonna show these guys how the trail goes. We got a trail marker up here. And then see Amy going along there, and this is the trail, just like a bunch of scree, which is damn crazy. I'll go that way.